Happy Saturday, everyone. This is Mel from Melamory Nursery. And today is Silicone Saturday with Sweet Clara. And I have not given the updates or information on Clara in such a long time that I thought I would do that. And a shout out to a um, subscriber of mine, Lynn, who also has a sister um, of Clara purchased from the same artist, which is Dmitry Zelinsky from Russia. And this little girl's um, specs is she's 19 and a half inches long. She's Ecoflex 30. She's 7.72 pounds. And she has slate gray eyes from North Korea. And I got her November 15th, 2021. So she, November, December, January, she is about 14 and a half months old in my nursery. And um, I am going to attach below a, a little photo shoot I did in the beginning when I first got Clara. Um, and maybe even her box opening. Um, although her box opening when I, when I got her was, when I look upon it now, when I look back upon it now, was a bit disappointing because, um, for what I paid for Clara and for how she arrived, um, I was very, very new at silicones and, um, her pictures that I viewed and how I got her were not, um, not exactly what I expected, but I've learned to, to love this little girl and, um, you know, it's, it's the imperfections you see. It's the imperfections of her that have grown on me over time. So I've got her in a, um, I got her on the boppy here. And it's been a long time since Clara's even been on my channel because she was a pre-recorded video that I'd done way back in October, uh, early October, and then posted while I was in recovery um, from surgery. So she hasn't been on in a while. And I dressed her in these matching set that came home with, well, the sweater came home with Matilda from Melanie uh, Gebhardt. And the hat, booties, and little gloves came with um, a box of clothing that the artist Tracy, my dear friend Tracy from Tracy's Little Treasures, uh, she had taken my budget and she'd gone shopping for me. So it was all a matching set and now it belongs just to Clara. So I am going to um, start undressing her and I'm going to do a drink and wet demonstration of her. And then I'm going to stop the video and make a part two. Um, and that part two will probably be posted in reverse. So it'll end up being that, um, the changing video aspect of it will go up first. Um, unless I, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to, uh, just completely change her and then go back to doing the drink and wet. I think I'll do it that way. So I will be in the same clothes, folks, and I am in the same clothes because um, for my last video, because I literally take this sweater off and work in um, my tank and a different sweater when I'm upstairs. And it's um, this particular shirt that I'm wearing now is a like a shorter kind of shirt. Well, you'll see it. Um, because when I do the drink and wet part of it, um, not that my clothing tend to matter at all, it doesn't, 
Um, but, gee whiz, I forgot where I was even going with that. My clothing don't matter. <laughs> they just don't matter. Um, but yeah, I have, I have pretty much a minimalistic wardrobe. And, um, so I, I have some key basic pieces. Anyway, that's, I guess, what I wanted to say. <laughs> Doesn't matter. My Reborns have more clothes than, than I do now. I've gotten rid of so many. Um, and that's just how I like it. So, she is in a little me zip-up newborn sleeper right now. And it is sleeper Saturday, and I do have a sleeper for her. And she is going to get her hair treated today with some noodles and boo. It's been a while. And I've just put some um, water-based KY jelly on her soother. And she doesn't need to be powdered, but she will, when I do her drink and wet system, will need a diaper change then. So I'm not even going to bother with the whole... Um, diaper issue at this point so <clears throat> I hope everybody is doing well um when I got this little girl you can see and I'll show you once I I take her out of this um her sculpt here like I said looked different a little different from her photographs but um like I said, after having her 14 months, um, knowing now what I do about silicones and not knowing then what I know, um, there would have been a lot of different changes that I made. But um, because she has... Um, the photographs that I got for her and the photographs that I seen from her were not, they did not look like this doll. But, um, and after inspecting her and, you know, uh, checking her out and wondering about, you know, certain aspects of her, like, skin, um, you know, her silicone skin, um, you could see even on her knees that she was meant to have armatures at one point and none were put in, which I'm happy about, to be honest with you, because I like her floppiness. Um, and she wasn't advertised with armatures, but you could tell. Why are you picking up a hair, darling? Because I've hacked all my hair off now, literally. <laughs> and, um. But yeah, I wonder if I can show you guys. You can see how she wrinkles up. She does wrinkle up very nicely, being Ecoflex 30, you know. She is quite squishy, very squishy. Um, and I will show you her little belly. She's very, you know, soft and squishy. We're not taking off her undershirt, but I will show you a little bit more of how she looks. We'll, we'll get into that more in her next video, but, um, you know, her sculpt is, is beautifully, you know, beautifully done. She might need a powdering. She might need a powdering. But I will do that, I think. I will do that when I give her her bottle, so after I redress her and dress her, because yeah, I can feel just now that she does, she does need a bit of a powdering and it will help with her. And it's been some time since I've powdered Clara. So, um, but yeah, on her knees here, come here, baby girl. She's so floppy guys. Look at this. Like she is so floppy. Like, you can literally fold her up like a pretzel. But in her knees, you can see, I don't know if you can see or not. I do have her head supported. 
but on either side of her knees. Do you see those little markings there? And on this side here. And same with that one. And there. That is where um, an armature would go. So maybe she was considered for armatures. In the meantime, I'm going to give her hair some noodles and boo. And just use a toothbrush and work her little curls. And she does have dirty blonde hair and it's curly mohair. But I want to be really gentle at this point. Clara is over a year old and silicone hair isn't rooted and to to be permanent in in a silicone um so with her i try to be really really careful and you know she hasn't had hair loss which i'm very grateful for she does have a thicker neck folks because she is a drink and wet and most drink and wets do have a bit of a thicker neck unless you put out the big, big bucks on um, silicone drink and wets, um, which she was, I would say, I don't know, mid range, maybe a little between mid range and affordable range, I suppose. Um, she wasn't over the top expensive for a silicone, <clears throat> but she was, you know, costly enough. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> Pardon me. So. I know everybody likes to know how much people paid for silicone dolls and what to expect and what not, but, um, Nowadays, of course, all the prices have skyrocketed with silicones. Um, and she wasn't a unique sculpt. I, I remember thinking she was a prototype when I first got her and advertising her as such in my, my videos. Um, but she actually, there were five of them, five of her type. And the artist forgot to send me her paperwork. All I have is her shipping label information and what came with her that way. And when I contacted the artist to send it to me, she said she did send it, but I never, ever got it. So when I contacted her again, um, the same thing was said that she had sent it and that was that. And then I never heard back from her. So, you know, th that's, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I like to have the paperwork of my dolls just for my own collection. Um, because these are small investments, you see. And so she's got rooted eyelashes and she's got the slate gray eyes, which are absolutely gorgeous but she's got a very unique mouth and the cavity of her mouth is completely huge. Uh, it's almost as if the whole of her mouth has been um, sort of sculpted out. It's a huge uh, well in there, although her lips are quite small, you see, and that will affect her drink and wet and does, in fact, and a special bottle has to be used. Now, when she was uh, sent to me, the bottle that was sent to me was like a sippy cup kind of bottle and it didn't work. And the soother that was sent to me was um, too big for her mouth, so she couldn't use that. So uh, the soother I've given her, this one here, is one of the kinds that she can take, which is a silicone one, and it's like firmer, and um, it slides right in nice. So that is pretty much the information of her. Yeah, I do need to powder her, I think, because she is starting to pick up some stuff. And usually because I was using the water-based KY 
on the, I've got bottles ready here. I have three different bottles ready here for when I do the drink and wet comparison. You know, a small little bottle. These all have distilled water in it, a bigger size, and the MAM bottle, which is probably what I suspect more for Clara. Um, and I don't really role play with my dolls, so um, that's why I don't I don't seem to really worry about her drinking wet all that much, you know. Um, and I've already done the test of of Claire, of um, Sabrina's, you know, but. Because I'd used the water-based KY to lubricate the top of the bottles and have them all ready, um, I used one of these. I have a number of these kind of diapers here that I use just for burp bids, bibs and whatnot. And I found these all at a thrift store. They're called um, Bums. Bummus? Yeah, Bummus Organic Cotton. So I'll show you the tag of these, and I have not bleached them, although I have wa washed them. I have not used bleach on them. So they they definitely, I think, could use a good bleaching, but I haven't done it because my daughter's super sensitive to scents, and um, the smell of bleach does permeate the house, and in the winter I can't open the windows. So anyway, let's get on a nice little sleeper and I'm just going to put on another little me sleeper that I've gotten for her which is newborn and I love little me I absolutely do so it's a little um, floral like with teal greens and peaches and pinks it's a crossover um, snap down with some white flouncy sleeper. And there's three bows at the top and it's long sleeved. I think actually it looks like three quarter sleeves and um, it's got the same flounce around the top. So I really like that. I love little me. I don't know, there's just something about the quality and the fit of these sleepers. And I need to find some gloves for her. So I will put on some gloves. Hopefully these ones fit her okay. I was just grabbing a set. And these aren't her normal gloves. I have fumble fingers today, folks. I decided that I... Uh, I wanted, well, I had a stain on my carpet <laughs> and it was bothering me and I know I shouldn't do it, um, especially with my body, but it was driving me around the bend to have that stain on my carpet. So I got down on my hands and knees and scrubbed it until it came out and um, now the muscles in my shoulders and my arms are telling me that I'm not very nice to my body sometimes. So that was kind of a lesson learned. But let me tell you, that carpet's clean. So it's something I could cross off my to-do list, that's for sure. But you know, there's always one little task or job, right, that seems to be lurking somewhere in our list of chores or activities that we need to do that for me anyway I always think well I, I, I just really want to get it done and I can't do it and it bothers me if I can't do it and um, and this is just me I mean I'm not here to to um, say anything about anybody else I mean it's just the way I am and, uh, but it was, yeah, it was bothering me. And I think it was, um, a coffee stain. It had to have been like in one of those travel mug coffee stains. 
that was set down near the stairs to to go out and I'm not sure whose it was you know but it was accidentally knocked over and the the lid was open and the coffee got into the carpet and um it just needed to be cleaned up but you know if you don't get to that stain right away it it sets and so I had to scrub it really really well to get it out and so now it's all done and clean and I'm happy about that oh I love this sleeper on her oh Clara baby you look so beautiful this is her bunny that she came home with and this is boo bunny um, look at the little tail in the back. It actually coordinates really well with her sleeper. A little more overpowering. But, um, yeah, I really, I've been um, on the hunt for little me sleepers with this one in particular. Because she's a newborn size and... I absolutely love Clara in sleepers. I just think she looks so cute this way. Although you can't see her little face. And I don't know where that hair is coming from. Where is that coming from, darling? I think that might even be one of her own hairs. So I do have a hair bow for her. And it's just a little, you see that? And um, I'll take off her gloves so you can see her little fingers. Her fingers are all separated. And where are we going to put this little hair bow? She has definitely grown on me, that's for sure. She has definitely grown on me. And we'll give her her so soother back. Yeah, see, the once you um, use fresh lubricant um, on her soother and her lips, um, it does tend to pick up hairs. And I tend to shed quite a bit. And I need actually more on there. And um, the KY jelly does tend to um, it tends to um, dissipate because of the water base. It doesn't stay on there very long, right? And, and because it is water based, um, it's the safest I feel for her lips. There we go. See how that slides right in so easy? And I don't leave the soothers in her mouth at all. Not at all. There. So there is little Clara all dressed for um, Silicone Saturday. There she is there. And you can, she's still on this this blanket here, it would have been better had she had a pink blanket. But let me just put her in my arms really quickly so you can see her more against the color of, you know. I should have brought over a different blanket for sure. I think I'll swap out that, this um, raccoon blanket. I just love the raccoons and foxes and bears on it. Um, but that's little Clara there in my arms. And I will come back and do a, a drink and wet um, display with her. But there she is. Let me just try to get her. She's really floppy up close so you can all see her. And her little boo bunny in the background. And her big old soother. I love how her ears are separated. That's really a nice touch. And those eyes are just incredible. So, folks, 
I wish you all have a beautiful and blessed day. And I look forward to doing her drink and wet system for you all. Clara's got little praying hands. Look at that. She can put her hands in prayer which I find are very adorable. Do you see that? Very cute. Of course, I've got to hold them there because she doesn't have armatures, but um, it's lovely that she has open fingers like that. And um, I think I'm going to swap out this blanket for the drinking wet one and find a solid pink if I can, because I'm filming in the middle of the night and of course, you know, um, taking a break from working. To, to film this video and um, I don't want to wake my daughter by going up and going into cupboards and whatnot but anyway folks have yourselves a beautiful and blessed Saturday and I will see you um, probably this week in the same clothes doing her drink and wet and then putting her probably right back in the same sleeper um, because it's so cute. But we'll see. Maybe I'll surprise you and put her in something else then. All right. Uh, remember, folks, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.